All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just marking out on the frame what we talked about before cutting out. I need to notch this inside of this box. See, the frame is fully welded all the way around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna notch out the section here, allow some clearance for the front subframe mounts, front mounts of the rear subframe, that is. We got the back of the car. Notch this out, and then we'll start welding some shit in soon. So I've been working on making the rear subframe supports all day. It's been a minute since I've touched a welder, so that's pretty gross looking. Some of them aren't too bad. Some of them, I just need to be more mindful of my prep. Gotta finish boxing in the frame. She should be plenty beefy to drive like a dickhead. So that's kind of the plan. It's getting closer and closer. starting to rain so I'm gonna bail on the welding outside for a little bit just I want to protect my tools but a couple more pieces to add and that is all done back there clean up some of my shitty welding for now I'm gonna try and work on the inside shelter so I can keep moving forward so the last thing other than the mounting of the subframe is we need to make clearance for the shocks to pop up through like I said in the earlier part of the video I'm gonna have to cut out the floor here which is the top side of the spring pocket of the old solid axle and the top of the spring should be somewhere on the top of this wheel well. So the top hats, hopefully it shouldn't be much more than here. I'm hoping it doesn't interfere with our rear seat layout so we can try and get four seats in this thing still. But I'm gonna cut all this webbing out of the way now and then we'll get an update on that when I get cut. All right, now we got all that cut out of the way. The top of the spring pockets, right about here, you can kind of see the little indentation of the cross member that's on the frame. There's your little hump for the axle. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut all of this out on both sides so that my shock has clearance to come up through here. And then we'll have to, there is a cross member on the actual frame that is shaped just like this stamp in the body that I'm gonna to weld to that because being a body on frame vehicle, I don't wanna weld the suspension to the body because they're not uh, not really a structural piece and that would probably do cool things like blow the windows out and just fuck a bunch of stuff up. So we're not gonna do that. So we'll get that clearance and we'll just shock in there and kind of see what it looks like, see what we're gonna to have to do from there. Cause half, half the fun of these kinds of projects is you just make it up as you go.
right, so a little update here. Got the rear subframe, 99% installed. I got the tires on. We're gonna need some wheel spacers. We're a little tight on the frame. It's actually not bolted up, but there you go. So you can see I got the strut boxes done ish. They're all tacked together. They're not completely done. I'm gonna put another side on them, box them and make them a little stronger. But she's looking good back here. So I'm actually gonna move on to the front now so I can get this thing sitting on all four wheels. I just didn't want to get too far ahead fully welding everything in just in case we make any adjustments. So the front is going to be a little more involved. It'll be a little easier because I don't have a body to work around. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to chop the frame rails off right about here. So here forward is going away just because of the complex shape. It's going to be hard to, one, they're an inch too narrow between the frame rails for me to line up with where I would like to. Obviously, I don't want to... Um, modify the subframe at all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this and i'm literally just going to build my own box off the front fully boxed just like the rest of the frame rail back here so it'll actually end up being stronger and then that'll allow me to lay out with my motor mounts and all that kind of stuff anyways so it'll be pretty cool Woo! Woo!